revelation in my spirit about Ephesians 6. We are facing some trials and tribulations. I cannot lie, the highly is not perfect. And I fall short of the glory of God. But God said our uh, building is, is considered as, uh, our righteousness is considered as built to grass. And I've been redeemed by the blood of Christ. God just dropped in my spirit because I've been facing my position on my, on my pleasant employment. And God let me peer into the spiritual realm for just one minute. He said, you are up against spiritual wickedness in high place. And spiritual wickedness in high place cannot operate without power because they do not have no power or authority to execute nothing in the name of Jesus. So they have to work together. And principalities at the top, basically like the representation who's supposed to lead in, um, out in society, a representation like the kings of the earth in the name of Jesus. And they can't really orchestrate anything to truly govern the people without spirit, without spiritual wickedness in the midst. Even though they have the, the they have power, they know they don't have power, but they have authority over certain things within the earth realm. But back to the spiritual wickedness and powers and powers and darkness and dark places. God said spiritual wickedness cannot operate without power. He said because they're there basically, because whenever you get so to a certain place in God, they're there to allow like the evil when they come in, Satan form, flesh form, to be for you to be trying and tested to see whether or not you're worthy to go forward and press forward into God's place. So that's where the trials and tribulations come in, in, in the church, in the name of Jesus. And God says, because when Jesus got up, he got over all power in his hands. So God got all the power in, in the name. And he says, spiritual wickedness in high place, they don't have no power. And re in reality, powers of darkness don't have no power, but they have power for spirit to operate with spiritual wickedness in high places in the name of Jesus. They can only move stuff in, in the earth realm in the name of Jesus. But if you walk in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus, you got all powers. The words that he do that ye shall do also. And you can cast down and bind up and loose in Jesus name. So you got authority over them, but you have to, you have to attack that which is coming up against you in spiritual wickedness and powers in dark places by the word of God. And so many people are taking and manipulating the word of God to use it for selfish desires. And when God began to birth out of my spirit the other night about love, and he says it's love that conquers all, that has power to shed yokes in the name of Jesus. And as the tears began to shed from my eyes, God said, you cried, you, your tears was, you was in the seat for somebody else's uh, burdens that you had, that has been cast upon your shoulders in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. And then God began to allow me to see. Now this was Monday. Between Monday and today, God began to let me see in the spirit certain sisters in Christ that's connected to me that is walking around here as though they're okay, but they're not okay. They're psychologically twisted up. They're psychologically seeking Christ for something that you have not laid down. You have to lay down the things of this world and seek ye the kingdom of heaven first and be filled and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then God's desire, when you fill it with the word of God, God's desire shall be your desire. And then he'll drop in your spirit and let you know what you're allowed to ask for at that particular season and time in your life. And I was, um, I was reading um, this particular thing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I just so happen, um, I have, I have to give a tarot card reading, but I really, I really don't, I haven't really operated in them. But so I just so happen to have to pick up those cards uh, last night because my grandbaby got a hold to them. And I picked up when she scrambled them up because I had to, I had to, you have to let, whenever you're dealing with those cards, you have to allow them to feel your energy, you know, shuffle them and, you know, look at them and study them and, and so that your energy can tune in with their energy, with their energy in their realm. So she scrambled them all up, so I had to hurry up and get them from her and try to replace them. So the first card that I picked up was the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles basically was saying, he said, you cannot, in the name of Jesus, who Jesus, 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 he said, you cannot receive and operate in your gifts in God because 
you have not let go of some things of this world. And while when God birthed that into my spirit, God uh, with the uh, spiritual weakness and high places and the powers of darkness that has been fighting up against, He said, because He said the things that have come to distract you, and the distraction came to dismantle you permanently this time. In the name of Jesus, psychologically um, shut you down. In the name of Jesus, because He know that there is some thing. It is some. It is some God-given gifts that can be birthed through you. And not only that, he knows that you already have dominion and keys to shut down hell in the name of Jesus. So, um, God just dropped in my spirit. You got so many. And he's, he's going to break a new thing. He's going to break the spirit, the spirit of, in the name of Jesus. Traditional praise inside the house. People have, they have learned, and it's been handed down from generation to generation. They have learned to man manipulate the word. It's almost operating in a witchcraft form to try to draw things, what they want, into their presence and to draw, draw like, uh, well, uh, and, that, and that's like a, and a witchcraft of love. In the name of Jesus, I glorify God. In the name of Jesus, and I bind up witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for the spirit of truth. And healing in this place, God. That the words that be filled, that fellas, God, out of our fellowship, no rivers of living water in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. And God was last uh, I've been reading and I was studying uh, the book of Kings and Samuel. And God told me, He said, You have I have given you power over the Chaldeans. And the Chaldeans mean sorcery, witchcraft. And um, enchant, enchantress, enchantress, and you have all this. All this is under the, the kingdom of God. He said, at the knee, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall thou confess. And the only way that you can have operate your power and your authority is if you have to go through. You gotta go through it in the name of Jesus. But if you know who you are and you don't operate in the flesh, you operate according to the word of God. You'll overcome it. But if you don't know what you're doing, you got some people that is doing it. You got people that is talking about some. I had a piece of brain. No, if you are, if you are a true spiritual warrior, you you walk, you walk with your. I, I tell my Bible everywhere I go, every single day. I, I got my my spiritual. I got certain books that I talk with me every every single day. Everywhere I go, I will not leave out if it's not in my car already. When I leave out the door, I'm picking those books up and praying them with me in the name of Jesus. One person I had to, I, I got to get my arm. No, 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 no. If you are a true warrior and you walk in this, in this earth realm and you are and, and you have got a call on your life, all the reason why you ain't facing opposition against Satan and Satan ain't up against you every day and Satan ain't trying to take your life because he already got you. You still operating in your flesh and you're not walking in the spirit from spirit because God says he is. Is a spirit and he who worship him was worship him in spirit and truth. So if you ain't facing uh severe attack every day, Satan already got you. That's the reason why you told me you got to get girded up. Because no, you got to stay girded up in season and out of season when you're dealing with spiritual warfare, but it will literally take you out of here. It will psychologically dismount you. And you got some people that is dabbling with it. And no. But that's what God said. That's what God just dropped in my spirit. He said the reason why he said spiritual wickedness and, and powers and darkness is operating together. Because spiritual wickedness cannot operate without powers of darkness. Because they don't have no power and that's their power in this earth realm to try to remove and manipulate things. But whenever that come up against, come up against you like that, that's just a form to strengthen you and to equip you for what's ahead. In the name of Jesus, I had come out. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for this moment. Uh, God, um, he's chastening me. He's disciplining me. I'm having to be redisciplined all over again. The eye has got to go to a new place. So, there's been times I lash out because people is basically breaking into the throne room and they demanding healing and it don't act like, it don't work like that. So, when you come in the flesh, nine times out of ten, you're going to get the flesh from me, but then God will be like, now, see, this is what you should have done. Now, then I'm going before God. Now I'm being disciplined. And I'm being rebuked. And I'm looking like, and I'm just sitting there, with God rebuking me. And I'm like, it shatters me. But God also says He desires a broken spirit and a contrite heart. So I understand why He keeps cussing. He constantly keeps breaking me. He constantly keeps breaking me every day to God raise me up to where He wants me to be. Because there's some people that's getting ready. There's some people that are seeking. Even at one point in time, I had not always seen um, in the right form. They're seeking, but they're seeking 
giving spiritual enlightenment so there for a minute. But I believe um, it's getting ready to light back up. Because I, whenever I go into intercession for people, to pray for people, um, I basically pick up, I pick that up. So then now, I'm going through exactly what they're going through. And God says, you have to, now you've got to break. I we went into intercession for, for my children and my, uh, my daughter. And I knew she was doing some things. So um, I had to, I'm going through some time and I'm still going through. So I'm having to break some things. And God is calling me deeper. So you guys, as I continue to pray for you, um, let's all just pray that we all line up with the, what God has for us. Because he has some awesome. It's a, it's a, he said, our former days, if you choose this day, who we should serve. Your latter days shall be grander than your former day. But if you don't choose it, you, just, you can't still just stay in the world. But don't force it either. Don't force it. Just allow God, allow God to peel it off. Allow God to show you who you are and who he is to you in your life. It's okay to ask man, but I'm, I'm not going to, whenever I was coming up, I didn't have nobody. The leaders that I set up under, they didn't tell me nothing. I had to learn, I had to lay down on my face. I had to pick up, I didn't, I didn't just pick up a Bible, I picked up many Bibles, whatever Bible. If I didn't get what I wanted, if I didn't understand that Bible, I went and bought another Bible. If I, didn't, if I didn't understand that Bible and that Bible wouldn't give me a revelation, I felt like I was, and I felt confused, I went and bought another Bible. I went, I got Bibles on type of Bible. Uh, because I was that adamant and that hungry about getting what God had for me. And that's how you have to be. Um, I would go, I, I learned how not to run to man, but listen to man. I would always write and make notes and, and I'd go back into the word of God to try to line up with what I'm hearing, with what God was saying according to the word of God. And most likely if God heard something out of my spirit, he's going to give me, he's going to give me a scripture reference to follow it. Because then that's how you know God is speaking to you and you're not you're not getting kind of thoughts. And that's why I try to watch daily. Um, I'll try to watch daily in his word, which I had strayed away from, but now I'm having to press forward back into it because uh, my prayer is that I see I see people through God's word and I don't judge them according to uh, how what height to see because I if, if I judge you because I'm gonna push you out. And I don't wanna be like that. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be a double minded. Person that is speak curses curses over your life. I want to, I want to be able to speak life and healing over your life because I've I've been there. Um, I've been um, at a, a walk in my life to where I was confused. I was confounded in my mind. That's the reason why if I if I see somebody confounded in their mind, even if I don't, I ain't gonna lie. Even if I, I I just I don't like you, I'm like okay God and God be like you know, tell them this. And I, in my little stubborn little way, I'm like, hmm. God, like, tell him this. And I have to, I have to do what thus says the Lord. I have to do what thus says the Lord. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna lay that on the altar because I want to see God's people through the Word of God, and I want to see God move inside the house of God. And not only do I want to see God move, I want the eyes of the people open so that they can see God move in this place. Because I know I met Jesus along my way, and He has been that good to me. I've seen him move. I've seen him lift sickness up off of me. I've seen him uh, move finances. I've seen, I, I, it's times I didn't have nothing. I didn't know where it was going to come from. And God just opened up the door and it flooded into my life. This is not nothing that I read out of a book. This is from life experience. So I know God moves. And I don't, I, that's one thing I cannot stand to see. Somebody confined and locked in their mind. That's a horrible way to feel. And you out here in society, and you don't know what to do. You don't know who to turn to. And people say they're gonna. They no, they don't. No, they don't. So if I can guide you to, to help you get free, I give you what God gives to me. So don't don't get mad at the messenger. Hey, take that old God. In the name of Jesus, the word of God. I'm gonna agree to go in here and get my spirit fed by my uh, overseer, my pastor, and my spiritual God, um, Dr. Jamal Ryan. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful to be where I am, but I'm not grateful because <laughs> I did. I, I ain't gonna lie, and God chastised me.
me about this. So I'm not going to tell God today. I don't want to come back to church. Yes, I do, God. Just help me stay still. And I want, I want to help somebody else stay still. I want to help somebody else that's in the world that's fighting and wrestling. And feel like they got, no, you don't got to be perfect. Come and let God uh, peel those layers off of you. Because whenever I got, when I first got my salvation, kind I, I was just got out, uh, been out all night alone, had with party. They had probably good alcohol on my breath sitting on the cruise inside the church. And God shifted for me, so I know he'll shift for you. Um, I got to the point where I did not want to go in God's presence like that. That's why I left the world. I got tired. I got, it was because of my kids, but I was tired of my lifestyle. And I was kind of tired. I think I was really wanting to break. But I got tired of my life that I was living. So I went seeking spiritual guidance. And I still wasn't right. God peeled those stairs off of me. In the name of Jesus. And I know if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. You don't got to be perfect. Let him look when you come up in here. Let him talk when you come up in here. In the name of Jesus, you come seeking God's face. And you watch him move on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, the word of God for the people of God. Y'all have a life to grant. Day.